Mark, you've had a lot to do with the, the Bryan brothers. Bob's lefty serve have to be in the sun at that time of the day. Generally, we always would take the serve on the guy's side of things. It's an aggressive play there from Buxa. More of a defensive style player in singles. A little bit more aggressive, goes for it a bit more in doubles. I think she also is more the setter and Panova's going to move probably a bit more. Coco in the back with Pagula having to defend the net. I think that they're slightly stronger the other way. Pagula have mixed it up a lot and played it both ways in terms of who plays on the deuce, who plays on the ad. Clearly, Coco bringing the heat on that backhand. An exclamation point is really key for this man. And that's helpful. Oh, back to zero. So saves three. Good yeah. serving from... I think she retired in single, so they didn't play. And so far, you can see in this first service game, I feel like you're more of a participant, not a spectator. And there she is again. Confidence there just to get on the board quickly. It's difficult when you're playing a pair. Well done. So again, go to the closing line. there for. Jessica Pagula's serve, so it is the team of Go Goff Pagula and Pagula. Early evening, it's a, a nice little crowd, it's a beautiful time to play, there's no heat. I didn't think she, he would be in the crowd for this doubles. That's a great shot. And the net player honest, and Panova is such a good net player and likes to move, you have to go after. Of the evening going the way of the Americans. It's not her her usual position. That's not normally how she likes to play. Doing That's a well great done. job. That's well done. And running the eye on Coco, so Coco can't establish the cross court backhand. She's also pretty wide where she's serving, which almost makes it more difficult to find the middle. Nice That's job people. there. So set point here for Goff and Pagula. Great return. Perfect location on the serve. Outstanding. Just focused on doubles. She's been playing singles and has had some court experience. Lost to Coco at Indian Wells and actually lost to Pagula at Wimbledon. Game in first set, go Pegula. So in just 23 Six minutes. To one. And quickly. Problem is that the opponents have just grown in confidence, haven't they? Love no. thinking. There's never been a second serve poach move, so it's putting them on the defense. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice move. Coco did a little shimmy I fake to try to draw the ball to her. A little fake. Here comes the ball. Gets what she wants. Let's go too early on the volley. Leaves the space open. Yeah, she had she had a little bit of a, an opening there. You can tell me in a second. Yeah, nice. Oh, would you want two that are a big from the back? Excellent question. Back to you in a second. Huge momentum shift there. Pagula going 15, 30 seconds, sir. And that was an opening that really was not taken advantage of. And now here they come. Just like that, there's such a momentum shift in this game. Even in the top 100 on the men's side, it may be six or seven guys right now.
Good. Yeah, nice. From Coco. Even tougher for women, I think, as well, to have that really no strong upper. Of a Martina anymore. Let's get this one away. But that was so commonplace. The speed of the game, the bounce of the ball, yeah. it's so different now. Just go up there. Wow. Most certainly is underplayed her level this match. Stunning shot, this one. Oh, disorganization there from. Yeah, she. Oh, officially. Missed it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, up anyway. Just think the racket face gets weird alignment sometimes on the two hand volleys. That one's so kind of bad. Yeah, they said. Oh, oh, no, Neither player really pinched the middle there, did they? Yeah. You want to see both players kind of squeezing across a little bit. Jess has got to come in the middle more here, right? She does. I'm Too much. Yeah, I feel like the left foot shouldn't be in the alley when you're covering the line. Hello. Hello. So well done. That's pure. Simple, clean. Short back swing. Thank you very much. And, and a lot of people pair even now yeah. with the forehand. All oh, she has part of her growth and development. Yeah, nice. Good close there. Again, slightly off balance as so she hit the forehand volley, didn't stick it. Canova. Third round at the Aussie Open. She's not a stranger to a Grand Slam court. Yeah, just this year. Australian Open. That's a stick. That's how to close it down. It's just a lot of energy that you get going forward. So much, I think, more helpful for the doubles game. See, Jessica hits the ball deeper. Panova backs off just a little bit, and any time. Ah, oh, not quite get that one. Oh my goodness! She hit exactly where she wanted. Oh, that so spot. Spot. Finds this one perfectly. <laughs> oh wow! Second break point here now. Oh, gee, she's fast, Coco, but that is one heck of a drop shot volley there yeah. from Brooks. 31, is it 42, whatever it is. She's comfortable to be able to make that play now. Oh, wow, that's yeah. serious. Brooks on the back of the line.
Great rip, good hands. Simple, clean technique on that volley, too. She's made a commitment. there. Yeah, this is a great execution here from Penova. One save with some heavy hitting there from Penova. Everyone's struggling on overheads. Lob it. Yeah. Well, they've gotten themselves out of trouble. Yeah, I think Penova was trying to back out of that rally and wanting to go up over, but just doesn't get the depth. Oh, gee, that's a terrific shot to get that down at the post there of Pagula. Control again for the first time in this second set. Coco Goff has certainly been such a favorite here at this US Open. Well, not a bad well idea. Well played. Low no, 15. Just not enough on the lot. Make that shot. 18 games in. Oh, wow, there's some hands. As a planned play. Yeah. I agree. They're capable of doing that. It's not asking too much. See what they choose on this one.